Rolling, rolling. I came to Bristol in 1996 and uh, at the end of my first year I ended up in a, a incredible huge Georgian house which is part of a, a crescent called the Paragon. I had this absolutely enormous room and that was a room where I first started sort of seriously writing songs and starting to record them really and it was in that house that's where things sort of became serious for me musically we knew that uh, none of us were ever likely to live in anywhere that, that palatial ever again and so uh, we made the most of it when you're living with that kind of incredible view of the city, you just you feel like you own it, particularly in the winter when you'd see the, the fog down in hot wells and the way the, the fog would gather around the street lamps. It reminded me of the bit in Close Encounters of the Third Kind when the, when the spaceship's landing. Back in um, uh, the mid-90s, Bristol was very much on the musical map for bands like Portishead and Massive Attack and they were certainly magnets that, that, that drew me to the city but I was much more directly I was uh, I was drawn to the city by um, a sort of cabal of um, bands who were all recording in, in bedrooms and in houses particularly Flying Saucer Attack and uh, Third Eye Foundation a lot of the time I make choices for song titles based purely on a phonetics, uh, purely on the way they sound. I hope Chapel Hill would have been one of the kind of songs where I would have written down the title before I'd written the song and that happens quite a lot. I'll, I'll choose a title first then the song will kind of find its way out of there. With Hope Chapel Hill I can sort of point to some really specific themes. It's the only um, song where I'd sort of directly address Luke's death. Luke, Luke was a uh, a great friend and he was killed by a, a, a drunk driver in 1999. The other theme which is dealt with in it is having epilepsy. With epilepsy you feel um, like an infant, you feel completely vulnerable. I'm not completely sure why I linked those two things together. I suppose they're both about, both about control and about completely lacking control and the, the, the simple fact being that if Luke's death was an inevitable an inevitable result of um, the determinism of the universe and uh, there's nothing I can do about my epilepsy in so far as manage it then um, you have to just get on as well as you can and not let those things I guess hold you back <laughs> I think, given the randomness of the world, you, you you have to try and you have to savor every moment. It's it's interesting when I look back at the order in which some of the songs were written because I notice a, a relationship between the songwriting and the parts of the city I lived in. As I moved further east, away from the really <laughs> from the really nice areas of the city, the, the music got noticeably darker and noisier. Easton's an interesting part of the city. What was a, a small, probably originally a small mining town, has been ripped apart by a motorway and what happens as a result of that is that you have these uh, nice uh, Georgian terraces and Victorian terraces that suddenly find themselves living in an, in an underpass. After living in Easton, I moved to St. Werbergs, which is a really lovely part of the city, which is right next to Easton, except it's separated by that motorway. I, I lo really like the idea that whilst the, the, the urban sprawl sort of invades, invades rural areas, in Bristol you see the way in which the rural seems like it's almost in, invading the urban. It's been really interesting doing this whole reissue project because I had 
I actually listened back to Flashlight Seasons, which I hadn't done for quite a long time, and uh, I realised it's an album that I have a better relationship with now than I than I probably did when it came out. Whilst it's certainly the work of a younger man, and some of the songs, you know, were written a long time ago, I think it sounds coherent. Even though some it was some of the songs were written over quite a range of years, it does sound like a coherent record. It, it doesn't sound like it was written over um, a long period of time. It's it sounds um, sounds like it sort of stands on its own.